and input other than um, situations where eventually it caused her death and um, yeah, she died. Okay, um, now I'll be talking about uh, the paparazzi killed photography, photogra photography Justin Bieber. And then it says, according to ABC News, the paparazzi chasing after Justin Bieber Ferrari ended up causing his own death. So basically, this is going to show you a video of um, how like the whole incident happened, and at the end, it was not worth his life. Like, come on. Like, Okay, okay, basic, sorry for this. Um, so basically, um, Justin, uh, the, they call, the paparazzi saw Justin Bieber Ferrari on the 405 freeway, and he fell. It would be a chance for me to take pictures of Justin Bieber, right? So Justin Bieber got pulled over uh, by a, a police, and, um, and he, well, he got pulled over, and then eventually he left, right? So the paparazzi, what he did was that when, when he was trying to get Justin Bieber, uh, snap a picture of Justin Bieber's Ferrari, uh, he got pulled over by a cop, right? And the, the cop told him, you know what, go back to your car, you know, you're not allowed to be here. And then he went back, as he was walking back to his car, he eventually, a car was coming from the south side, and he eventually got ran over, and just, and at the end, it resulted that Justin Bieber was not even driving his car, it was two of his friends. So, I mean, he put himself in a risky situation saying, like, you know, like, he was not even driving the Ferrari, it was his two friends, and, um, um, and it resulted in killing, like, ending up with his life, and, I mean, not worth his life, right, like, not worth it. where they're like, or sometimes paparazzi when they're taking pictures of your child, you know, sometimes they're asking them inappropriate questions or harassing them in a way, and I mean, they're just child. I mean, nobody would. So here's a video of a uh, Texas celebrity family of a... Uh, an emotional day at the state capitol as two celebrity moms call for tougher laws to protect their children from the paparazzi. Curtail photographers' aggressive behavior towards their children. I don't want a gang of shouting, arguing, law-breaking photographers who camp out everywhere we are, all day, every day, to continue traumatizing my kids. The paparazzi would say things to her like, oh, so how do you feel, Mel? You might not see your father again. How do you feel about that? Inappropriate to say this to a child. State Senator Kevin DeLeon's bill would increase fines to $10,000 and allow civil lawsuits in cases where children are harassed because of their parents' occupation. But several media outlets oppose the bill. While they do not approve of the paparazzi's behavior, they say the DeLeon measure is too... So basically here it's saying that Jennifer Garner and Katie Berry um, were... Um against the, they were going to court to testify about the paparazzi harassing their child and the children living in fear of how they're being like, when they're in public, they're being harassed by uh, paparazzi asking their children um, inappropriate questions and how they, as mothers, not, not just because they're celebrity figures, but as mothers, like, we all want the best for our children and, you know, and also has an effect in them too. And um, recently in Europe, they have a, they have a special restriction uh, pop photographers um, photographing uh, children under without a parent's consent. So it's something that America should take in consideration too. And the bill got passed also. So thankfully, you know, if they ever, you know, if they if they don't follow the law, then they get sued. They go to jail. They get sued. Um, they have to pay a fine of twenty thousand dollars. So it's more. They feel more comfortable about that. That they actually put all their hard work 
of making that law pass and that paparazzi is also like they get they get eager just to take a shot of a picture and um, and it's like and it's like do you think it's like worth Where someone's life, like as you see here, like pop rock, like celebrities, like uh, Alex Rodriguez, the baseball player, coming, like you know, to get him with the paper bag and and under his face, and then he's hiding from the paparazzi, and then you see Ashley Simpson with her boyfriend, Pete Watson, um, with mask. I mean, imagine coming like every day how they have to go through like living like that and like hiding who they are and not walking out just like normal people. That's it.